Hello guys, if you haven't seen the previous chapter of Moana movie, you're more than welcome to watch this video, because I'm gonna give you a complete recap of the previous chapter of this movie without missing a single detail. I hope you enjoy this. The movie begins with the backstory of the demigod of ocean and air named Maui who steals the heart of Tefiti. Now, Tefiti is the goddess of life. She was the reason behind the vibrance and diversity of this planet. People used to believe that if they can manage to steal the heart of Tefiti, they can hold up power to create anything they want, and Maui was the only person daring enough to steal the heart. Unfortunately, he gets into a vicious fight with the demon of earth and fire named Tekka and loses both his magical fish hook and the heart. After that, nobody got to know about him anymore and the world gradually started to lose its diversity. A thousand years have passed and now Motonui is the only known island on this planet which is still vibrant and full of life. On this island, Moana is the daughter of the village chief and her father has a desire to make her the chief after she becomes an adult. One day when she was walking on the beach, she surprisingly finds the ocean behaving friendly with her. The ocean chooses Moana as their future savior and gives her the lost heart of Tefiti. Unfortunately, she loses the heart of Tefiti on the beach. Many years have passed. Moana is supposed to become the chief of the village but she still has got a desire to sail across the ocean and find out what else the earth has to offer. One day, out of curiosity, she takes her pet Pua and sails into the ocean although the voyage became a complete disaster in the end. When she was thinking about giving up on her desire to sail across the ocean, her grandmother comes to motivate her not to give up on her dreams. She tells Moana that many many years ago their forefathers used to be voyagers, but they decided to never sail in the ocean when they started to encounter monsters in the ocean which was actually the result of the lost heart of Tefiti. Her grandmother actually had the lost heart collected from the beach. She gives it to Moana before dying and tells her that she has to find out Maui who is the only person capable of restoring the heart at the right place. She then decides to sail in the ocean again without telling anyone. This time she has got her pet chicken Hei Hei to join her in the voyage. She follows a constellation in the sky to locate Maui. He is supposed to be over there. After a lot of ups and downs, she finally manages to reach the island where Maui is supposed to be living. She gets to meet Maui but he was not willing to help her restore the heart. Instead, he locks Moana inside the cave and plans to sail away with the boat. But Moana finally manages manages to catch Maui. He tries to throw her into the ocean a couple amount of times only to find out that the ocean will never let her drown. When they had an argument, they suddenly get attacked by a bunch of pirates known as Kakamora. These are one kind of coconuts with legs and hands, I guess. After a lot of struggle, they finally manage to save themselves and protect the lost herd. Maui was not willing to reach Tafiti because he had to fight a lava monster named Tekka and without the magical hook, he will not stand a chance in the fight. Moana finally convinces him to go and collect the hook so that they can finally restore the lost heart. They go to a place beneath the ocean named Lalotai to meet a monster named Tamatau who has got the magical hook. Maui manages to restore the magical hook while Moana was keeping the monster distracted. After a tough fight, they finally managed to get out of Lalotai. Despite having the hook, Maui was still unhappy with the fact that he no more has the ability to control his power like the way he used to do in the past. At night when Maui was feeling depressed, he opens up to Moana that he was once a human being abandoned by his own parents, and then the gods chose him to become a demigod. He also reveals that he stole the heart of Tefiti only to make the villagers happy but that decision turns out to be one of the worst decisions in his life. Moana feels horrible to hear that and motivates him into believing that he can make things right again. He gets his confidence back and begins to train himself in the morning. After a couple of days, they finally reach Tefiti and Maui gets into a fight against Tekka, the lava monster. While trying to save Moana, he hits the monster with his magical hook and it cracks up at the top. Realizing that his magical hook will be completely destroyed if it gets another hit, Maui decides to give up on his mission. Out of sadness, Moana decides to give the heart back to the ocean but this is when the soul of her grandmother appears out of the ocean in the shape of a stingray. She motivates Moana into believing that she can actually pull this job. So she jumps into the ocean, collects the lost heart, fixes the boat and sails back to Tefiti. She storms into the habitat of Tekka, the lava monster, and when she was about to get killed by the monster, Maui comes back to save her life. He has decided to change his mind. He is now even willing to sacrifice his own life if it's necessary to restore the heart of Tefiti. When Moana climbs up on the top of the mountain, she surprisingly gets to find out that the lava monster known as Tekka is actually Tefiti, the goddess of life. In short, she has turned into a monster after the heart was stolen. She tells the ocean to make a path so that Tefiti can get to her, and then she 
restores the heart back into her chest. Tafiti gets her beauty back and thanks Moana for doing everything. Maui also gets a new magical hook as a gift from the goddess. They also receive an amazing boat to sail back to Motunui. She then goes back to sleep restoring the vibrance and beauty of nature again. Maui says goodbye to Moana and she goes back to her island. Moana's parents feel extremely proud to find out that their daughter has done the impossible. They start sailing in the ocean again like their ancestors used to do in the past and that is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.